In preparation for the Jimmy Carter work project in March 1999, test builds were done in General Santo City and Dumaguete City, two of the JCWP work sites in the Philippines. Japanese student volunteers worked in the General Santo City house, while Filipino volunteers participated in the building of the house in Dumaguete City. The first test build was done in General Santo City on the second week of August, 1998. Day one started with 15 workers on site. Work began at 8 a.m. Concrete hollow blocks were piled and preparations for columns were done up to 11.30 a.m. At 11 a.m., walls were already erected up to the seventh concrete hollow block level from the floor. Pouring of concrete at corner posts and window jamb installation were made from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. At day two, installation of fabricated window jams were continued from 8 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. Between 8 a.m. to 11 a.m., concrete hollow blocks were piled on top of the lentil. From 1 p.m. to 5 p.m., concrete hollow blocks piling up to the last tier were made. At day 3, from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m., roofing works, door installation, piling of concrete hollow blocks at comfort room and its septic tank, plus flooring and lavatory works were done. From 8 a.m. to 10 a.m., trusses and purlins were erected. Between 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., partial installation of GI sheets were made. From 2 p.m. to 3 p.m., fascia boards and GI sheets were installed. Between 2 p.m. to 3 p.m., jalousies were installed. From 3 p.m. to 4 p.m., lavatory works were done, complete with a built-in cabinet. At day 4, site cleanup, final touch-up, and evaluation of the completed house was made. On the third week of August 1998, a similar test build was done in Dumaguete City at its newest habitat site, Bahum Pandan Phase 3. By 8 a.m., the skilled workers and the volunteers have already gathered at the site. Each day started with devotion, followed by instructions. <laughs> Main construction equipment used consisted of one unit, one bagger concrete mixer, eight plastic containers or pails, eight trowels, and four shovels. The manpower requirement consisted of one team leader, two mason, carpenter, and 17 volunteers. Before day one, preparations such as site clearing, floor layout, digging of foundation, pouring of concrete at the foundation, soil compaction, and installation of scaffolds were done. At the start of day one, flooring had already been completed, and between 8.15 a.m. to 9 a.m., concrete hollow blocks were piled up to the lentil level. At 10.15 a.m. to 12 noon, forms at corner posts and mid-support were installed, followed by the pouring of concrete were made. Everybody took a lunch break at 12 noon to 1 p.m. At 1 p.m. to 3 p.m., windows and door jams were installed. At 3.15 p.m. to 5 p.m., the forms at lentil were installed, followed by the pouring of concrete. The speed of the piling of the concrete hollow blocks depended on how fast the volunteers gathered the concrete hollow blocks from the stockpile. At day two, removal of all forms for posts and lentils were done. Between 8.15 a.m. to 9 a.m., concrete hollow blocks were then piled on top of the lentil up to the fourth tier. At 10.15 a.m. to 12 noon, forms at topmost lentil were installed followed by the pouring of concrete. From 1 p.m. to 3 p.m., installation of nailers and anchor plate were made. Trusses, purlins, and rafters were erected and installed between 3.15 p.m. to 5 p.m. 
the construction progress at the end of day two was significantly evident. At day three, installation of GI sheets roofing and ridge roll were done at 8.15 a.m. to 10 a.m. After the morning break at 10.15 a.m., fascia boards were installed. At 1 p.m. to 3 p.m., all scaffolds were removed. At 3.15 p.m. to 5 p.m., windows and doors were checked and rectified. At day four, final inspection and assessment of the whole construction work was made between 8.15 a.m. to 10 a.m. After the break time at 10.15 a.m., general cleanup and beautification of the completed house and the surroundings was executed. After lunch, a house dedication was conducted for good tidings, prosperity, and cheer to the new homeowner. Under the scorching heat of the sun, we marveled on how the house progressed from day one to day four. As we closely watched the volunteers hammer each nail, piled each hollow block, and installed each window. Indeed, so much can be accomplished if more people come and heartfully offer their hands to help. Finally, we were indeed so happy for the family because after 32 years, they now have a simple and decent home they can proudly call their own.